Hi my loves and welcome back to another video. I hope you are all doing well. It's been a long time since I've been wearing anything Disney, like Disney ears. I absolutely adore these ears so much. I've not worn them yet, I've not had a chance. I got them for Walt Disney World and that sadly did not happen. Um, so I am of course saving them and I've also got these ones for Disneyland Paris which I have managed to wear and they are by a lady called Best Kind of Magic on Instagram. Literally adore her ears so much. I have so many different kinds of ears from her but these have to be like my favourite. The castles on them, they're just so beautiful. There's nothing on the back but like fireworks and they're like, if you really like quite puffy ears these are definitely them. It's been very long and overdue since I've done a Disney video on this channel and honestly every time I do one they always fill me with joy so much. I've got my Mickey Mouse mini love t-shirt on, it says love forever on it and then I've got my Disney Parks hoodie on in the back. I'll try and show you, it's got Mickey Mouse on, this is my favourite hoodie ever. It's got Mickey Mouse on, the castle. Alright so I have bought so many things recently from Shop Disney and a couple of other shops there's going to be i think two other shops that i've also bought from but they are disney as well so i can't wait to show you that so i'm going to get into this video but before i do just please stick around because there is an announcement at the end of this video and i am so excited you might already know what it is for me making a disney video and then an announcement but <laughs> if you do stick around to the end thank you so much i appreciate it so much and me and you can probably share the excitement together. So without further ado, we will get on to this video. If you are a frequent watcher of me and you watch me a lot, you know I absolutely adore Disney so much, hence why I'm, I'm doing this video as well and it gets me so excited. But I do do other stuff on my channel and not always Disney and I try my best to always sneak some Disney in my videos. So my birthday haul if you've not watched that which was last week i put up i got something very exciting that just fits perfectly with this video because i know you will definitely share the same excitement because hence you're watching a disney video you're gonna get excited at anything that, dis that is disney so i got this for my birthday and i've just got to show you <laughs> it is a dunian burke parks bag and i've wanted it for so long i've wanted it probably since 2018 or 19 whenever it was it came out we've just not managed to get it because of course i'm from the uk and i've not been able to bring it back or anything and when i did want it like finally went to the parks and was ready to buy it it was sold out so it's been a long time coming but I think this bag is absolutely beautiful. It definitely shows what Disney's all about, which is full of colour and happiness. And it's just so amazing. I absolutely adore the inside. It's such a beautiful bag. I have got the wrapping paper in at the minute because I'm actually not going to be using it until I go to Disney. This is just going to be my travel bag, my Disney bag for when I'm in Disney only, nothing else. So I can always get excited at this bag and look at it and I can't wait to get it out again because it's going to be the best day ever when I do get it out because it means that I'm travelling again to Disney so absolutely in love with it. If you've seen it already, you've seen it again now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm so happy with the bag. Okay, so I got a shop Disney parcel and I always love reading the message on it because it seems to be different messages every time I get the box. This one says, we keep moving forward, opening new doors and doing new things because we're curious and curiosity keeps leading us down new paths, Walt Disney. And when you open it, this one is the Mickey and Minnie. <laughs> so cute so yeah i was a bit naughty on uh shop disney because i didn't need any of the stuff i just really wanted it and there's still a few stuff that i really want to get but it's either sold out or there is a new key basically today when i'm uploading this that is coming out and i'm waiting i'm waiting for it so it's tomorrow basically but i'm uploading this today you'll see this today so i am waiting for the key and i'm gonna be getting the stuff with it it's like a disney princess key and listen i go mad for the keys but then i've kind of stopped because it was getting ridiculous like every single month not even that sometimes it was like a week and then 
the next week it was coming out it was getting a bit too much and some of the keys i didn't even like i was just buying them for the sake of having the key but for now i'm only getting the keys that i really like and it's making it a lot more better and a lot more fun to get it again because i'm not buying keys constantly just for the sake of it no more <laughs> so this one i'm really excited for okay so i will dip into the shop disney box now um spoiler alert there is a lot of cups because i am a disney mug i'm a disney mug <laughs> basically so the first cup we got, and if you're a regular watcher, you'll know who Scott is, and Scott is my fiance, and he is a Disney lover like me. He's very much into Marvel as well. Yeah, he is obsessed also with The Mandalorian. So this is what we got the other day. It's gonna be his mug. He literally only has Disney mugs. I'm literally going to show you now because I'm so excited. By the way, these are also from Shop Disney as well. So yeah, this was the Mandalorian mug and we paid £11 for it. So this is what it looks like on this side and then this side. This is currently in Shop Disney right now. But these two mugs, I'm not too sure if they are in Shop Disney right now, these two mugs, because he did get them a, a bit ago. And I'm just showing you because... <laughs> You know you'll get my excitement as well so these are the this is his other mug so he's got the mickey sorcerer i know actually i think this one actually currently is in it did come with the um with the broomstick but i did smash it because it was um like a ceramic one and i did smash it so let's not talk about that and he also got this mug as well and we got this one ages ago in the parks i just think this one is such a cool mug it's got literally all the avengers on it it is amazing i'm not too sure again i did get that a long time and i know people sometimes do ask where but it was from shop disney so if it ever comes back in stock which sometimes they do do like a, a comeback i will definitely let you all know i always get a lot of comments on this mug and this is my disney princess mug and I actually did get this one in Disney World. I could probably do a full video again on different mugs that I've got. Um, it says, live your dreams destined for greatness. And I did get that one in the Disney parks. Don't know why I've just come completely off topic and just showed you my mugs. But I'm very sorry about that. I just get so excited. The next thing I got was another mug. And I got tagged in this quite a lot because I am a very neutral kind of gal. And it's this home mug. It is literally so, so perfect. Just such a beautiful mug. It doesn't say anything inside or anything. This is the bottom. And it was £13. I haven't had um, anything in it yet, but I can't wait to finally do it. And it, it's actually dishwasher and microwave safe, so that's perfect. But look at it, how cute. Home. Home, I miss it. I miss home so much. And then the next thing I got was this glass mug and this one if you can see it i'm not too sure if you can see it but it says i run this castle here it has got like little castle um like sequin kind of things in and then it's got the castle on it this side now it says glass mug but it really feels like i don't know it's a very light glass like i think you probably have to be a bit careful because probably if you did drop this mug it would definitely smash straight away. You know, like some glasses are a bit more harder. This one seems very fragile. And yeah, it's not microwavable or dishwasher safe. Just very, very nice. All right, and a crazy Disney crystal hasn't come out for a long time. Like, when I tell you I used to be the crazy Disney crystal, I used to be the crazy Disney crystal. Like, I used to, anything Disney I used to just get, and that would be me. So I tried so hard this month not to be like that. But I did kind of crack, and this is the reason why. <laughs> I ended up getting this. Now, this is the, I cannot say his name, it's Jared, and I'm very sorry, I can't say his last name, but this is who it's by. Now, there is currently a, um, a fro that I really want with all of these on, and it was in stock for such a long time, and now it's out of stock now that I want it, and it's not come back in stock for I don't know how long now and I really want it so I'm still sat here waiting patiently I thought I was going to get it by the time I did this video because I have been pushing this video off and waiting but unfortunately it's still not in stock but I am going to jump at it when it comes back because it's the cutest thing ever so I'll just get it out I did pay this one was more at the pricey side it was £26 
Do I need it? No. Am I going to even use it? No. But is it cute? Yes. Okay, so that is like the little mug bit, like the little mat. And it has got the rabbit from Alice in Wonderland, Dumbo, the flying elephant, Snow White, and Donald. Reminds me of Tomorrowland Speedway, so I'm just going to go with that. So this is the mug. It's literally got the Disneyland castle on. And just look at everything that it's got. Oh, it's just so cute. I just love it to bits. Nothing inside. And it's got his um, signature at the bottom. And all you basically do is just the mat and you just place the mug on it. And I just really thought, am I going to use it when I was buying it? No. I just want it for decoration. <laughs> I just think it's so cute. I might like end up using the mug, who knows. But I just think it's just... It just gives me Disney vibes. And when you've not been for like two years... <sighs> You miss it. You'll just do anything. And this is this is my fix of Disney. Okay, so at the time of getting some of this stuff, like I mentioned before, I'm dead into the keys, but I'll only get them if I really like the keys. So at the time, these came out, and I, they are, I did check the other day, still in stock on Shop Disney. Um, if I can link a lot down below of what I've shown you today, like whatever I can find, I will definitely link it down below. I can't remember how much these were. I don't know if it was £20. They might be cheaper than that but it's a mickey mouse through the years i have got like a gigantic um yellow mickey mouse bag that they was doing like an offer on ages ago and i use it as my shopping bag it's just dead gigantic in fact i'm gonna show you because i'm looking at it right now but it's literally got this kind of mickey mouse on it but yeah i just think they are just really cute i am still debating whether i want to take them out and place them with my other keys or just keep them like this in this picture frame kind of thing. Okay. Speaking of Disney bags and Mickey through the years, this is the bag that I mean. Um, it's literally my shopping bag. It's got all like my shopping stuff in. And yes, me and Scott do go around Asda with this gigantic Mickey Mouse bag and put all our food in it. And I've got no shame over it. I'm just proud to be who I am. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie though, a lot of children do stare at us looking at the bag and I'm like, they're like, you can't have it, it's mine. <laughs> no, um, then to get that key as well, this came out at the same time and this is the Mall World key. Now again, I only say I'm only gonna get the keys from now on if I like it. This is a must. Whether you like Small World or you don't, this is a must. I just think this, one, this key is probably up there with my favorites. Now I love Small World so, so much. Scott on the other hand, absolutely hates the ride and i think that's why i probably love it more because he makes me go on rides that i don't like at disney world and can you believe there actually is some i'm not like the biggest roller coaster fan ever and going on rock and roller coaster literally turns my stomach so if i have to ride that five times he can ride small world but yeah my favorite one so far 55 years anniversary how how just adorable is that I love the castle on this one this time. And then because Crazy Crystal was out in the making at the time of buying all this, <laughs> I had to. If you know me by now, Rapunzel, Tiana, <sighs> Lady and the Tramp, Dopey, they're like all my favorite. Oh my God. Dory, they're like all my favorite Disney characters. So I just cannot. I've got to get things that I've got them on it. So this is a pin set um this was 12 pounds and then like i said just then dory's like my favorite gal in the whole entire world i got this pin set as well which is really cute i don't get this bit though when it says you're my nemo can anybody tell me what that means like i thought nemo in a different like different language meant no one and like does that mean like we're saying you're my son i don't know if i'm thinking too much into it i kind of do but Anyway, it's just really cute. Dory and Rapunzel. Oh, I just need some um, Princess and the Frog pins now. Um, my pin set is literally up there with all my favourite characters. Okay, so something else I got from Shop Disney the other day, which I have been debating to get for a very long time. And when I tried it on in store, they just didn't have my size. And it was this jacket. Absolutely fell in love with it. Look at how adorable the hoodie is. 
the hoodie is just dead woolly and so sweet and it's got the mini mouse on and then also on the back it has full on mini mouse and i'm just feeling like <laughs> when i travel to disney world i just want to be in comfort so it's literally leggings probably some nice trainers and i like to wear a t-shirt or a vest top in case i get really hot on the plane so this big jacket's gonna absolutely be wonders for when we next go i got a small so i was debating whether to get a medium or a small but then i remembered when i did try on the medium it was quite oversized so the small was just like a bit perfect now i don't mind oversized things but i feel like the small was just like you know the perfect fit but yeah it's just so beautiful there's even embroidery of minnie mouse on the sleeves which is dead cute i really love this minnie mouse so much at one point i really wanted to get a tattoo this minnie mouse because i think that she's just such an adorable little minnie mouse scott was going to get the original sketch of mickey mouse and i was going to get the minnie mouse sketch we're still actually kind of thinking of it we kind of want it on our wrists here but i am very much a wuss so still still pumping myself up for it all right so that is everything that i got from shop disney the next thing i got was from a few other little disney shops okay so the first two are literally from asda so if you're in the uk it's asda if you are in america or somewhere i think it's walmart or walgreens walgreens i think it is um and it was this disney villains coloring book so i'm just thinking of times when i'm on the plane so it literally takes us about eight nine hours on the plane to disney world for us so all that time why not do some disney coloring it's just so cute i've not even bothered to do it yet because i did actually get it for my travel day that at the time was literally two weeks away until we found out it's been cancelled so yeah great but yeah it's got all all like villains and stuff and i like this kind of coloring because it's like very very artistic you know so i was obsessed with that i've been trying not to color it for such a long time because i'm dead into my coloring and it just it's so therapeutic i love it so much and then the other day i went to asda again and and found this oh my god when i tell you my heart dropped I was so excited and this was the last one so I know that they've definitely restocked it now but at the time this was the last one and I instantly grabbed it so it's Disneyland Park so I think this one is the California Park I did pay £10 for it and it takes you through all the park look the dapper dance oh my god honestly I just get so excited so excited um it's got star wars galaxy's edge it has literally everything from the park toontown now we've never been to disneyland california it is definitely in the making we have been looking at it for such a long time now pixar pier and paradise gardens um so this kind of gets me a little bit excited for when we do actually eventually go and if you're into coloring and you love disney as well how perfect is that the next thing i got was from a shop called double box toys now i've known about this for a long time because of loungefly can you believe that i have still not had like not bought my first loungefly bag i am looking at one currently and it's a flower and garden one because we always go to disney world at flower and garden and i just really really want it but it's currently sold out so i'm hoping it comes back in stock soon if not hopefully i can get it soon so the first thing i got from double box toys was this bag so it's got starbucks on it i am a starbucks girl i don't really not really into costa i just love starbucks and this is the bag but then when you turn it around it has all the theme parks on it so it's got magic kingdom animal kingdom epcot hollywood studios and then the walt disney world sign on it i am just so obsessed with this bag um i am going to be using this now um it's just going to be like a bag that i'm just going to take places you know you can take the disney girl out of the park but you can't take the park out of the disney girl and that is just me so yeah i really like that they did have like some tumblers and stuff that i was very very close to buying but i'm 
Might save that for another haul if I do end up buying it. But yeah, I just love it. It's just really good and it's such a like a large bag. So you could probably fit all sorts in it. And then I only got two things from Double Box Toys and this was the last thing and I have wanted it for centuries and it is the monopoly disney theme parks edition so it's the california and the disney world edition so it's got everything from california and everything from disney world in it so this is the back there is a pop-up castle in the middle so the pop-up castle is the cinderella castle um i wanted this so much like forever again with the bag and scott kindly got it me for my birthday again and yeah i'm just obsessed with monopoly especially disney i've i've recently just got rid of like two of my monopolies but i do have a villains monopoly we've got the mandalorian monopoly and i'm obsessed with them so we played this and i cannot tell you playing this with disney music in the background it was just the best thing ever so if you're gonna get a monopoly this this is my favorite okay and then that was everything i got from double box toys the last thing i want to talk about and want to show you today is something from scentsy so if you've not heard of scentsy they are like a wax bar company they have branched out and done like dog friendly products now where it's like dog friendly things for like shampoos and stuff um cleaning products and all that stuff but i normally do stick to the waxes so if you can see behind me i've got a mickey mouse wax melt and i am obsessed i literally love him so much um i think eventually i do want to get the Minnie mouse one and just recently i found a scentsy lady who i will link down below i think her name on instagram just showing is wax melts the heart now that is her page and she is such a lovely lady she was dead on ball like i've had people in the past and i've wanted some stuff and it's taken me forever just to get the stuff whether she is just dead on ball and just honestly such a lovely lady so i did branch out and get quite a couple wax melts i have got so many wax melts already that are disney from scentsy so the first wax melt i got was this one and this one is the disney princess one now this one has recently come out they have like wall wax warmers where you plug it into the wall like not with any wire or anything i can't explain it and you put the wax melt in it there just have a look on scentsy page it's probably better looking on there than me explaining but this one's really nice um if you know me by now you know i love my sweet fresh and floral scents this is definitely a very floral and sweet smell absolutely such a nice like candy smell then next i got this one which is angel she is a super sweet smell you know like ice lollies and lollipops that's exactly what she smells like bearing in mind i didn't have a clue what these scents were i just really wanted them because it was disney so if i don't like any i probably will give them away next one is stitch that we got and he's more like a coconutty smell like um like a tropical island smell i really like that one then we've got moana which is a new scent. I'm so excited for this one. And again, you guessed it. It's like a tropical kind of smell. <sighs> right, this is going to sound really, really weird. But like, you know when you get... I don't know if you've ever done this before. But you know when you get a new car and you like have McDonald's in it? Or like the, if you've ever smelled like the McDonald's toys? That's how they smell like in the packaging. I don't know if I'm going to sound like a weirdo right there. I don't actually care. But it also smells like McDonald's toys. Which is a good thing because I really used to be obsessed with just smelling the McDonald's toys. Okay, I'm giving too much away about my life, but it's a really nice tropical smell. Then we have the Little Mermaid. It's the Kiss the Girl. Oh, such a cute one. And these are what they look like behind, by the way. You just break them up. Now that one's... This smell, I can't really explain how it smells. I'm hoping that it's going to smell nicer when it's in the wax burner. I can't smell it. Like, it smells like fresh, but also... I don't know, it's a very different smell. It's like something you'd probably put in your bathroom. I'm not too sure. Um, it still smells nice, but not one of my favourites. And as soon as I seen this little guy, I just had to get him. It's the Winnie the Pooh 100 Acre Ward. Yeah, this smells more like woody. Yeah, just like florally woody kind of smell. It just smells really fresh and really nice as well. And then the last scent that I got, which I literally so happy that they did this kind of scent. 
it is this one which is lady in the tramp absolutely so obsessed this smells like rose like i feel like a hint of rose or something in it which is really really nice it just smells romantic so yeah that is everything that i've got disney wise i am so happy to be doing a disney video it's been a long time in the making and if you have stayed till the very end which is now i absolutely adore you you're the truest disney fan ever and you make me smile so much so for the announcement of this video today it may not be exciting for you but it's so exciting for me like oh, i cannot wait so if you know you know that obviously we've been, we've been through a pandemic and also before the pandemic there was stuff with airlines in the uk so i have had to change my trip to disney world five times now and we have had three three week trips going ahead then we changed it to two weeks and then this year literally today we was meant to be there for two weeks so yeah that didn't happen so we have changed the trip and it's going to be april 2022 next year and it's going to be for uh, just over two weeks this time so we've gone in between the two and the three week period and we're hoping that if we can go to the two just over two weeks next year that a little later on in the year we could probably do like a another trip to disney world because we have not been for two years and we did kind of agree that it's going to be a regular thing for every year going to disney world so the disney world vlogs are coming very soon in a year's time but time flies by so you know we will be staying at caribbean beach now we've gone from staying at caribbean beach two times then we've gone to port orleans um riverside and then we've gone to we changed it to i can't remember the name but it's called like grand destino tower like that bit summit springs in it something like that um Bearing in mind, we've only ever been to um, Caribbean Beach, so that is literally our home. That's the only one that I've ever been to. So we decided that we're just going to go back to Caribbean Beach next year. It's just the easiest option and we're familiar with it. It's got the Skyliner. We have got a preferred room, which is going to be very close to like the front entrance and the Skyliner. And we can get around a lot easy. We have paid a little bit extra because we thought, why not? Um, and it's just one that I'm just... I just love i love it so much so disney did say about if the dining plan is going to be released later on the year or next year at any time we can actually add it on to our booking and stuff so that's really nice that they've been very flexible with that kind of stuff but as it stands at this moment in time i think we will be paying for our own food so yeah that is my big announcement the also other a little bit of an announcement is when disneyland paris opens um this year i can guarantee you 100 percent that we will 100 percent be going so you might just see some disney vlogs a little bit earlier than april next year um we're really just wanting to go and get our disney fix so much we just can't wait and i can't wait to finally make a disney vlog um this is the whole reason i did actually in the beginning start my youtube channel because we were going to disney and i wanted to vlog it kind of have branched out a little bit more since then um but honestly i'm always a disney fan and a disney girl at heart and like i said before you can take the girl out of disney but you cannot take the disney out of the girl it'll always be in me i am such a little disney princess like you know it's got my heart and i i know that anybody watching this right now it will have your heart too. It's just like the best, most magicalest place on earth. And honestly, you cannot be sad at Disney. It's just all your worries go away and your dreams just literally come true. It's just the best. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's been a bit of a long one, but I've had so much to show you and I am just so excited for what's to come now hoping that we can get back to disneyland very soon 
but yeah we are officially going back to disney world next year 2022 april back for flower and garden and hopefully we can actually do our first food and wine festival next year but we have got so many things planned for the future for disney world we want to do so many things and i feel like this is just the beginning because me and scott do really have like big dreams so i'm just so excited and just so excited for more announcements to come so yeah if you did enjoy this video i would appreciate it so much if you did give it a like um maybe comment let me know down below what has been your favorite thing and also when's your next trip to disney it could be disneyland california shanghai paris disney world anywhere just let me know because i can t i will speak to you about disney 24 7 for hours like i'm not even joking it is something that has gripped my heart so much so let me know in the comments down below if you are new to this channel i would absolutely adore you to become one of my best friends we have a really lovely best friends family going on and everybody is so lovely and kind and i would just absolutely love for you to join us as well so yeah thank you so much if you are one of my best friends already i love you to the moon and back and i will see you on my next video lots and lots of love